Greetings GCW fans, Fast Eddie Lane, GCW Commissioner, helping to put the wraps on everything at the a &E Fun Center in Jasper, Alabama, had a tremendous night of professional wrestling action. Some great fans here at the a &E Fun Center, 25 North Skyline Drive, if you get ready to book a birthday party, guess what, right here, good place. Kicking off everything, Aiden Solo, Jeremy Foster, 101 competition. Um, hard fought matchup, but by hook or by crook, I love that phrase, it comes in handy so many times. Aiden Solo took home the victory. Our second match of the night saw Psycho Circus and Sensational Steve Styles form a tag team. Can you use the word unorthodox enough during one match if the Psycho Circus is involved? Yes, you can. They took on the combination of Full Throttle, Trevor Eon, Joey Lightning. Tonight, Full Throttle got it on track, picked up the one, two, three. Also this evening, the Silent Giant, the Equalizer versus Cousin Redneck, Amos Moses, inside the GCW ring. <laughs> I said it on the radio show that it was going to be a slugfest. I promised it delivered tonight. Equalizer, Amos Moses. There are some serious issues running there. And I have a feeling that that is a long way from being over. Also tonight, a &E Fun Center in Jasper, the Russian Assassin. Slightly different look for the Russian Assassin tonight, so I've got a really weird feeling there may be more than one. But tonight took on O'Hagan. O'Hagan was on a mission in more ways than one this evening. And he proved to not only the Russian Assassin, but I think he also maybe struck a chord with Micah Taylor. And speaking of in the main event this evening, Micah Taylor, GCW Championship on the line versus Showtime Shane Fox. 101 action. Micah made the statement that he was going to make an example out of Showtime Shane Fox. Well, I guarantee you, Micah, that example did not come easy. Showtime Shane Fox gave the champ all he could handle. But I will say this, with the perpetual interference and interjection of J.J. Tanner into the match, that gave the champ, I would say, an unneeded advantage, but I know the leader of the underground will take every advantage that he can possibly get. Micah Taylor, tonight, winner and still champion by submission. Showtime Shane Fox. It's gonna be a bitter pill to swallow, but once he gets a chance to see a replay, which the Beyond Ringside camera was here tonight, so he'll have a, he'll have a chance to take a look at that, just like I know Micah's gonna to wanna to see the footage as well. Folks, let's run it down real quick. Don't forget, Sunday mornings, 1 a.m., GCW TV on the CW. Also, the replay through the .com, GCWPro.com, as well as Blip.tv. Go from there, Sunday nights, 9 p.m. Central, 10 o'clock Eastern. GCW Radio. Now, this update is being made for Sunday, August 12th. So I'll tell you this, as we are getting ready for three huge nights on the road, Thursday night, August the 16th, Phoenix City, Alabama, the Great Skate Plex on the 280 Bypass. Friday night, August the 17th, Canton, Georgia at Sixes Presbyterian Church. And Saturday night, August the 18th in Pell City, Alabama at the Pell City Civic Center. Three major nights coming up for GCW. Stars of GCW, Stars of the Underground, and a whole lot of surprises. Keep your eyes open on the dot com, the Facebook friend page, fan page, and our Twitter feed. Tonight, once again, Sunday, August 12th is when this update is set up for. Be sure to join us as we're headed for the triple shot, the Ally Georgia triple shot. We're going to have everybody from Micah Taylor, Tracy Taylor, Mad Dog Dan Sawyer, Trevor Eon, and a whole lot more joining yours truly, O'Hagan. Ted Guinness and J.J. Tanner on GCW Radio. Go to the Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash GCW Pro Wrestling for how you can listen through beyondringside.com to GCW Radio. Folks, I'm going to call it live from the a &E Fun Center in Jasper, Alabama for Global Championship Wrestling. GCW Commissioner Fast Eddie Lane saying, I'll see you at the matches next time right here.